गुड इवनिंग हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग वन मोमेंट प्लीज Okay. Let me see. Okay, okay. I do apologize at this moment. I was turning on my computer. Eh, tenía un pequeño. Okay, por el mismo momento está ahora. So I do apologize. Okay. Let me know how are you? If you have any doubts about yesterday, alguna duda respecto a lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Okay, okay. Nope. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, just one moment, please. Okay, excellent. There you go. Um now, uh, guys, let me see Jacqueline, Michelle, Tania, Jesli, Anna, Mauricio. Do you have any questions for the yesterday? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good. No, oh, teacher. Perfect. Yesterday, we were talking about so, neither, either, etc. right? Okay. Now, we're going to continue with some exercises. Okay. Let me see. I'm just going to share my computer. Teacher, ¿puede volver a explicar lo de neither and either? Por favor. One moment, please. Um, okay, so may I know exactly what was the specific, uh, what's the specific question? I'm pretty sure. Okay, I could help in the words. Pero la pregunta en sí, uh, que, que de, Le gustaría hacer en específica. Hello. O sea, lo, lo último que era que estuve explicando. Ok, ok, ok. But, real, solo como, como pregunta exacta, uh, ¿en qué punto realmente se perdió? ¿En cuál de todos? Hola. Hola. Perdón. Eh, cuando usamos el, el pasado y el presente. ¿Pasado y el presente? ¿De, de quién? ¿De cuál? ¿Del <risa> so? ¿O de, de quién? De, ok, one moment. Ah, bueno. Ok, just one moment. Pasado y presente. Ok, perfect. One moment, please. You mean this one that is talking about the past and the present, or when talking about neither in, okay, here, that it was in neither, that it was in the negative form? Yes. So uh -huh. remember that all sentences, all, all sentences we have, we have at the po positive and also we have a negative, okay? Now, I don't want to eat tacos. It is a negative, okay? But we have two options here. Okay, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. So which one would be the correct answer for this? Neither am I and neither or neither do I. Since this is an action and I'm just taking it and I'm doing something negative, an action that is in negative, okay? Don't eat, I'm sorry, don't want, it is an action already. So. It is not neither am I. In this case would be neither do I because I don't want that action, okay? No to that action. Now, by the other hand, we have, I'm not interested, okay? Describing, because we're some description. I am not 
interested on the soccer game. Now, here, I don't have any verb. No tengo ningún verbo. Okay, I am not interested. So if I don't have any verb, neither do I. No puede ser. Okay, because I'm not talking about verb. Look, estoy como escribiendo, and there is a denier. I'm not interested on the game. Neither do I. Okay. Now, if it says the bird to be, yes, it was the bird to be, it will be neither am I. I'm not interested on the soccer me, on the soccer game, neither am I. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Yeah, is there anything else that I could help you with? Nope. Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to just continue in with this one. And the wasn't where, by the way, the wasn't where, remember that we have the conjugation. Antes que nada, como recordatorio para el resto, ya, para todos. You see exactly for the was and where. Was and where, it is for a uh, conjugation of the verb to be. Okay? Am um, is and are is in the present. Past was and where of the be. And another one that is for the present. Now, let's going to continue with this one. Okay, one moment, please. Um, okay, there you go. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing and stressing responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Okay, we're just going to repeat the pronunciation. Sure. Okay, let's repeat to me. I do too. I do, I do, too. I do too. I am too. Am, I am too. I am too. I can too. I can. I, I can, can too. too. So do I. So, so do I. I. So I. Okay. So am I. So am I. So am I. I. So can I. Okay. So can I. Can I. I don't either. I, I, don't, I don't either. Don't either. I'm not either. I'm, I'm not, not either. 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 I can't either. I, I can't either. 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 Neither do I. Neither, neither do I. am I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Neither can I. It's been very good. Now we're going to continue with this one. Okay. Could you please this, Rosa? Oh, one moment. In this conversation. <laughs> Rosa? Hello? Yes, could you please read this? Okay. Um, in this section, a conversation will be played where a customer 
use modal verb such as good and will for request. Excellent, very good. That's going to continue then. Hello everyone, I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the model verbs. Disculpen. Ah, pues está compartiendo sonido y me ha preocupado. Ok. Ok, once again. Hello everyone, I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the model verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay. That's going to listen and we're going to repeat the conversation. First, let's and go to analyze. would you like a salad? Okay, so it says, that will be, if you pay attention, these are models. Si presta atención, aquí hay muchos models. Remember about some models that there were like, may, yes, we have, I would, que lo vamos a ver, okay, would, yes, then we have will uh, or I'll, then we have another one, let me see, uh, and then would, okay, most of them it is would, okay, now first, okay, do you know what it means, uh, lamb, hello, chuleta, no, que más, cordero, Cordero. Okay, the lamb kebabs. Now, if I am not sure, because kebabs, I'm not pretty sure what is it. Let me just take a look on it. Yes, uh, it seems like a, there are a kind of sandwich. I, I haven't heard about it. Como un tipo de sandwich, I said. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, this lamb, it is cordero. Okay. Let me see another one. Dressing. Do you know what it means? Dressing? Aderezo. Aderezo. Just like you can say algo de vestido. There you go. Aderezo. Okay. Um, there you go. Like anything. Now we're going to repeat them. May I take your order? Repeat, please. May I, may I take your order? order? Once again, may I take your order? May, may I take your order? Take your order? I like lamb kebabs. I like I like the lamb kebabs. Excellent. I'd like but the lamb kebabs. I like the lamb kebabs. Okay. And would you like a salad? And would and you like a salad? Would you like a salad? Would you like a salad? Would you like a salad? Okay, I'll have a mixed green salad. 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 Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? What kind of dressing would you like? What kind of dressing would you like? What, what kind of dressing would, would you like? like? Would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Excellent. Um, there you go. Would you like anything to drink? Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large tea, please. I like a large tea. Excellent. Very good. No, it says in the next one. In this session, the use of models per would and will for request will be taught. 
Let's going to continue with this. Okay, now please pay attention. How do we use these models? Remember, just remember. La, de los últimos models, ¿quién se acuerda? Teníamos. Teníamos. El quién. Teníamos que otro model. May. Cold. 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 Should. Good. Exacto, luego teníamos. Will. Will. Ok. El should. Ok, should. Must. And now it is would. Will. Okay. Let me see. Um, well, and good. Okay, these are the new ones. Okay, the last time we were talking, de las últimas veces que vimos los models, we were with can, may, could, should, must. ¿Se recuerdan de esos? Okay, voy a tomar eso como un seso, silencio. Okay, now, let's go to pay attention because right now we're going to talk about the normal one, will or would. One moment. Okay, let's go to listen, please. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on would and will. Try to understand how they're being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Okay. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I equals I would. No. Okay. You said the word and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus complement. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay, one moment please. Now, we're going to analyze Vamos a analizar detenidamente el video. But now let's work on that. Cheese, please. Okay. Now, this word, the models, si se fijan, okay, and we use it for what? One moment. 
if you see it is for something that you request, okay? You are talking about something that you request, something on, uh, como algo que ustedes están pidiendo o solicitando, okay? O dando eso como uh, algunas opciones. What would you like? En este caso, pueden ser de diferentes maneras. Would you, would you go or would you like to go to the prom with me? Okay. Another one, what would you like to drink? In this case, están dando como unas preferences. Okay, what would you like? Would you prefer uh, soda or would you, I'm sorry, would you prefer Coca-Cola or would you prefer cola champagne? Okay. Uh, would you need anything else also? Yes. So it's talking about something like specific, polite. Está siendo como es polite. Now, it's not the same to say like, what, uh, let me see, what do you want? Okay, pay attention to this one, guys. Este es el más claro. Okay, do you think that it's correct to say, what do you want to eat? Do you go, do you go to the restaurant? Ustedes son customers, van a restaurantes, and the waiter comes. Okay, so what do you want to eat? No, right? ¿Qué quieren comer? Pues? No. ¿Qué les gustaría? What would you like to eat? Ok. Yes. Estamos. ¿Se escucha la diferencia o no? Hola. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. Ok, there you go. Now, in this case, what would you like? Ok. What would you like to drink? It's it, it's it, it's it. Ok. Now, in here, nuestra pregunta, or question was, what would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs, okay? I'll have a small salad, okay? Okay, I'll have a small salad. Yes, what kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, okay? ¿Qué tipo de eso te gustaría? Would you like, okay? I'd like, el I'd no se está refiriendo como un I have, sino que aquí está el contraction. I'd, yes, is oh. I would like. And I'll, contraction, apostrophe, L, L, yes, I will, okay. I'll have, I'd like, etc., 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 okay. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea, okay? I'd like, I would like a nice tea. I'll have coffee, okay? Talking about case, look at the minute. Something about the future also. <coughs> Once again, what, I'm sorry, would you like anything else? Estoy preguntando polite de manera, polite, okay? No es lo mismo, chicos, ojo. No es lo mismo decir, do you want, do you want uh, something else? ¿Quieres algo más? ¿Creen que es correcto decírselo a una persona adulta o a una persona, a su jefe o a una persona en una cita? ¿O decírselo si ustedes fueran meseros? <coughs> eh, do you want anything else? No. No es correcto, ¿verdad? It's just... Would you like? Le gustaría. Okay. Would you like? So that is why we have models. Por eso se llaman los models. In some way, it helps us in a polite way. De alguna manera nos está llenando de una manera polite. And the, question, the answer is like, yes, please. Okay. I'd like some water. No dijo, I want some water. Una manera polite and formal dijo, I'd like, okay, me gustaría. Yes, I'd like some water. Lo mismo acá. What do you want to drink? Or what would you like to drink? Okay. Que le estoy hablando de futuro a la vez. What would you like? ¿Qué te gustaría? Bebe. I'd like a nice tea. Me gustaría. I'll have, ojo, esto ya futuro lo está haciendo 
I'll have coffee. Yes. Now, let's pay attention once again to the explanation. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. Pay attention to I'd this. equals right. I would. No. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Pay attention to that. <clears throat> We can use would directly at the beginning of a question, right? Using would to make request. Would you like to drink tea? Okay. Now. Okay. There we go. Would you like to drink tea? It is talking. Le gustaría, te gustaría. Yes. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can okay, okay, one moment. Can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement. Okay, there you go. Now, pay attention to this. The, the I'm sorry, the model el model siempre va a ir al inicio así como iban la study each question como iban la study each question the attention then comes the subject then comes the verb then the verb in infinitive what it means this two Okay, remember, recuerden por favor, that in all the sentences in toda oración, usually comes the WH question at the beginning, obviously, and also we have the model here. El model comes at the beginning. Okay, por favor, ayúdenme con un sujeto, chicos. Would? Would you? Is okay for you? Let me, bah, 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 let me see. Okay. Would you, well, to say, would you like siempre? Would you like? Okay, now, would you like? ¿Por qué pongo este? Porque es el más sencillo. Obviamente, would you like? Te gustaría. Okay. Um, or, let me see, would you like? And then, ¿qué dice aquí? Infinitive. Yes, in here, ¿por qué ponemos el like? Porque siempre va a ser el would you like. Te gustaría comer, te gustaría jugar. Te gustaría, I don't know, but please give me a verb. Give me un verbo. Would you like what? Drink. Swim. Try to swim. Swim. Would you like to swim? No. Uy, uy. Okay, there you go. Guys, I don't know what happened. One moment. Would you like, okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we like to swing. And see, kiss. Okay, look at aquí. To swing. ¿Qué sucede con esto? Would you like to swing? It is an infinitive, right? It stands infinitivo, yes. And it will be here exactly. ¿Por qué está en infinitivo? In infinitivo, ¿quién me puede decir por qué está en infinitivo? Uh -huh. Hola. ¿Por, ¿Por qué es posibilidad? No. Alter, alternativa. No, porque este gustaría y por ende ya hicimos con combinar uno. The next one it is going to be in, in infinitive. Es parte de la regla gramatical. Ok. Por ejemplo, cuando ustedes digan algo, I don't want to, ok, entonces ahí utilizan el verbo en su forma base. Ok, same here. I would like to, or would you like to swim? 
add. Move with me. Okay. Would you like to swim at the pool with me? Yes. In that case, it is not in the pool. My, I'm sorry? In that case, it is not in the pool with me. Well, it will be at the pool, in la piscina. Defer, it, yes, porque ahorita no estamos, no estamos dentro, ¿verdad? No estamos dentro, sino que si ya vamos a la piscina. Yes. So, now, would you like to swim? Siempre fíjense, okay? As it say here, okay? Like, then we had the infinity verb and complement, okay? To swim at the pool with me, right? Okay, the same here, give you an example. Would you like to drink tea? Now, pay attention, what else? Ahí, de momentos, la estructura gramatical tienen preguntas. No, teacher. Yes, as. Uh, Used as uh, to, to ask for apologies to request. Call that way to ask to ask or to do or to do a request. Back up. Okay. Like, okay, I would like to drink. What would you like? Okay, guys, pay attention to this one. No. One moment. One. I want. A dejarlo más clase. to it que okay or something like that okay so we have that the wood it is used as a polite as a, as a polite una manera educada to ask or to do a request yes to ask something okay to ask something or to do a request. Para preguntar algo o para hacer una petición. Okay, now let's pay attention to this. There comes the examples. One moment. I would like to drink a cup of coffee. Me gustaría. Okay, what would you like to eat? Okay, I would like to eat quesadilla. Okay, that if you go to the first date, if you go to eat with your boss, with your uh, grandparents, la primera cita, whatever, okay? Something that is formal, algo formal. 
Okay. But if you go with your friends, yeah, you're just going to start like, I want to drink a cup of chocolate. Let's go for, for a cup of chocolate. Or let's go for this. Okay. Now, basically, I want to drink a cup of chocolate. <coughs> No es lo mismo. Si bien es cierto, es el mismo significado. I would like to drink a cup of chocolate. No es lo mismo que decir. I want to drink a cup of chocolate. Ambas. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estas dos? Ayúdenme, por favor. Entre el I want and I would like. It's polite. It's more polite. It's polite. Ok, ¿por qué? It's like a... It's formal, teacher. It's more formal. More formal. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, basically it's that. Now, what is the difference? Yes, between, once again, I want to eat quesadilla or I would like to eat quesadilla. The same, right? It is more formal and polite. Both have the same meaning. I'm sorry, the, the same meaning. Ambas tienen el mismo, casi que el mismo significado. Me gustaría. And then the number one says, quiero. Yes. But both, en ambos, la persona quiere. Este es el mismo objetivo. The purpose, en ambos, la persona quiere comer esa día. Yes. The difference is that in one, it is just being polite. Okay. Questions? No, teacher. No question. No, teacher. Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm just going to continue. And plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement, plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this okay. opportunity, where you plus infinitive verb, plus complement, plus question mark. So it says here, would to make request. Okay. En este caso, nosotros estamos haciendo la request. Nosotros estamos preguntando por la request. Record, record. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Fue una mezclanza entre inglés y, y español. Record. Okay. <laughs> Remember then, what would you like? Answer, what would you like to eat for dessert? We are not doing the request. However, we are asking, ¿qué es lo que le gustaría? Okay. And this says that it says, que podemos, we can use again to use the WH question. When would you like to eat? Okay, for example, I'm just going to eat for my birthday. So people are going to ask you, okay, what would you like to do? Say una, what would you? ¿Qué te gustaría? Where would you like to go? Cuando a dónde te gustaría ir? When would you like to go? Who would you like to go with? It's it. Miss. Yes. I have a question. And yes. when the subject uh, is uh, only you, or can you use the third person like uh, he, she, we, it? Uh, O sea, ¿se puede usar? Yes. No, o solo específicamente el you. No. He. Would he like to go to? Se puede también. Ah, ok. Al, pues eh, hay cierto caso, claro. Yo he visto que más que todo lo que pongo con you. Sin embargo, también en estos casos con... Eh, o sea, con he, she, etc. Ok. So, besides that, do you have any questions? Dolly H. Ok, one moment. Dolly H. We can, we can use the, the mm -hmm. 
Bit model. Knowledge question. Like to hang out. Where would you? Or would you like to go? When do you want? Well, I'm sorry, when do you want there? When would you like to go? La manera informal que tengo yo es de mañana. When would you like to go? Okay. Taking esto, chicos. Where? Bye. Aquí por haber sido. Would you like to hang out? Yo pude haber dicho también. Do you want to hang out? It could be an example, verdad? Solo que like. Recuerden algo bien importante. Would. Always, always will be, will be. I always will be with, like. Okay, primero antes que nada, tome en cuenta esto. That would, would be with a. With a qué? I'm sorry, with a like. Okay, with like on a sentence. ¿Por qué? Would you like? Where would you like? Okay, it's sira, it's sira, it's sira. Siempre los acompaña el would con el like. Yo pude haber hecho esta oración. Esto significa, ¿quieres sal quisiera salir? But meanwhile, yo también puedo decir, ¿quieres salir? Okay. Do you want to hang out? Okay. I keep it instead of where would you like to go? ¿A dónde te gustaría ir? It could be where do you want to go? Que es definitivamente algo polite. Okay. Instead of, en vez de would you, otra vez, when do you want to go? Checking. Mi auxiliar va haciendo el want, si lo con el, el, el do. Okay. Who would you like to go with? ¿Qué le dicen a sus amigos? Who do you want to go with? Okay, la manera informal. There is a formal way and the informal way. Al momento se comprende eso de la manera formal e informal que se está, que podemos utilizar. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Mark, example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using word to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or what would you like to drink? Yes, I would like a soft drink. Or I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position? Okay. What would you like? Esto significa que once that people ask us, what would you? Desde que nos preguntan el would you, ¿qué quisieras? Nosotros vamos a responder I would, ¿ok? Or I'd. No le vamos a responder I want to. What would you like to drink? Um, I want to drink... Uh, no, tienen que utilizar el would, ¿verdad? ¿Para qué? Para seguir de la manera esta. The polite way, ¿ok? Or I'd like a soft drink. Now, if you pay attention to something, to say this thing, I'd like... Ese I'd like, is una pequeña suave contraction. I'd like, que significa esto? I'd like, okay? And when you tell fast, when you just pronounce it fast, I'd like, yes? Now let's going to do the exercise, okay? Let's going to start, I'd, remember, look at me, I'd, do it. I'd. I'd. Okay. I'd. 
Ok. No hay de. No hay de. Lo que me dice. Hay de. Hay de. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Hay de. Now, and if you do it fast, hay de. Se quedan como me. Hay de. There you go. Excellent. 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 Ahí se le quita un poco la, la T porque eso no más la T. Now. Ahí está. Ahí está. Y I will, teacher. I will, I me cuesta, I will, no sé. I'll. I'll. But, ahorita quiero que haga la idea, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Now, al cual les iba a decir, se me fue la idea. Ah, come on. Okay, ah, well, the thing, the important thing here, lo importante es esto, que sepan cómo responderlo, ¿verdad? I'd. Now, ustedes a veces no lo van a escuchar y solo van a escuchar I'd like. Se van a quedar porque no les sirvió el what would you or I would like. I'm sorry, I would like. Y solo dijo I'd like porque fue una contraction directly. Okay, fue una buena contraction. Now, you know what in the answer? That's right. It goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like, plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. We are in a restaurant, ojo, estamos en un restaurante, and we're the waiter. Somos el mesero. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using word. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? I'm sorry, let me just see something. Write the questions to this response. Oh, I see. Se lo voy a poner yo el ejercicio. One moment, please. Okay. I do. No, you know what? Can was second? I would like to play. Okay. Here. Okay, where do you like to play? This is just an example, guys. Este es un, un ejemplo. Aquí, if you pay attention, nos dieron un ejercicio. I'd like apple pie or Think on I'd the like question. coffee. Okay. I'd like me dieron solamente un ejemplo. Now, mi ejercicio va a ser that you guys escriban al menos dos oraciones, así como esta. I'd like to, ok, que significa I would like, y hagan una pregunta o dos preguntas de cada uno, ok. Sí, solamente sería eso, ok. Quisieran, mejor hagan dos, ok. For example, I'd like to play, I'd like to dance. Entonces podría ser, where would you like to dance? When would you like to dance? ¿Ok? Serían dos oraciones y dos preguntas, o sea, una de cada uno. Tienen tres minutitos. ¿Ok? Questions, no questions? No. O oh, well, se lo puede dejar mejor, no hace que se me lo proponga. Ok, recuerden, dos. ¿No tienen preguntas por un momento? Okay.
Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, um, first example. Mm -hmm. Continue, yes. The, the sentences, I like, I would like play, play flat football. When would you like to play flat football? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes. Correct. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Now, who else? Give us, give us. Uh, your teacher. Mm -hmm. I, I like to drink wine. Mm -hmm. What could you like to drink? Um, who? Would you like drink wine with? Who would you like to drink wine with? Excellent, very good. Who else? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'd like to eat tacos. What would you like to eat? Mm -hmm. Where would you like to eat? Okay, excellent. Uh, okay. Teacher. I'd like to visit my best friend. Friend, mm -hmm. who would you, who would you like to visit with? Uh, to visit with, and when would you like to visit um, your best friend? Once again, could you repeat the last one? Puede repetir otra vez la última. When would you like to visit? Okay, when would you like to visit? Okay, when would you like to visit your best friend? Yes, yes. Excellent, very good. Who else? Give me us. Um, I would like to go out for relaxing. Um, where would you like to go? I would like to go to the beach. When would you like to go? I would like to go on vacation. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Who else? Kimas. Yo. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you like to eat? I like to eat pasta. I would like to what eat pasta. What would you like Excellent. to eat? I like to eat Robert Tony's restaurant. Excellent. Very good. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let me just take alguien más. I'm sorry, could you repeat again? I'm sorry. Where would you like to park? I like to run in a park. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there in someone else? Are you mad? Okay, go ahead. I do. I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone is typing. Vamos a desactivar ahí donde. Okay, ¿quién era? El que siente que quería. 
Hola, hola. Someone say me. Hola, teacher. No sé si me escuchó. No. No, es que se escucha cha, 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 cha. Es, es que mi internet está fallando. Hmm. Try, try, try. Okay. Eh, what would you like to eat? I'd like to eat Chinese food. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to China work. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. 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 Okay. I would like to go to China with me. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Who else? Give us. And me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'd like to play game, video games. What would you like to eat? Where would, would he like to go on his vacation? Could you please repeat once again as example? Uh, the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, where would he like to go on his vacation? Where would you like to go? Okay, where would you like to go on your vacation? Okay. Okay, okay. Who else? Me, teacher. Uh huh. Okay. Who would you like to call? I'd like to call my friend. What would you like to see? I'd like to watch a movie. What would you like? La última, perdón, la última. Tu fue la pregunta. What? What would you like to see? To watch. I'd, to watch. I'd like to watch a movie. Okay. Excellent, guys. Lo hicieron super, 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 super bien. Los felicito. Okay. Um, deja de compartir. I don't know, guys, if you have any questions. Si tiene alguna pregunta. Joel, lo felicito, no, por teacher. cierto. Ha sido el único que ha... El único, pero se, se mueve valor y logró pasarlo. Felicito. Hoy que no está Mauricio. Excellent. Well, guys. What? Al menos se, se mueve valor y luego preguntó en la clase y lo felicito por eso, que, que no, no, no le dio pena preguntar en la clase y lo felicito. No, teacher, ahí sí conmigo no se preocupe. Yo cuando algo no lo entiendo o no lo sé, yo le voy a interrumpir la clase y le voy a preguntar. Ahí sí lo voy a sentir mucho. También, <laughs> ok. So, thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to stop the class right now. Cuídense mucho y subiremos la clase. Thank bye, you, guys. teacher. Okay. Bye, bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.